Hi, hi guys. <laughs> Don't know why I said hi, kids, but okay. Guess we will start off. This is our our what we what we read, read our second part of what we read in 2022. Yes. <laughs> so this starts June 13th through December 30th. First. December 31st. Yeah. So, do you want to start, or do you want me to? I don't care. So I'm gonna go ahead and start. The first book I read in, well, I read this one in June. So, but I read Court of Thorns and Roses. Um, I rated it four stars. I need to finish this series, like read the second book. Not the second book, but I need to finish read it. Uh, in that one video, I said that I was getting ready to read. Uh, people with me on vacation. Um, I rated this a three star. I don't know. I don't remember much of it, honestly. But I did finish it in like a week or two. It was a three star. The next book I read, I didn't read this copy of it, but I read uh, Where the Crawdad Sings because um, I wanted to read it before the movie came out. And we actually ended up, we have another video we posted where we ended up getting, we went to a library book sale, and I got this book for two bucks. It was a hardcover. But I rated this one uh, four star. Really enjoyed it. I actually really want to read this again so I can watch the movie. Maybe 2023. Then I read The Fine Print. I hate the cover, by the way. I want to get the regular copies of it. Because I really like the books. Books really good. I rated this five star. Um, I don't know. I read it on Kindle Limited. That's why I have it on my Kindle. I definitely can't wait until the second one comes out. Um, the next book I read was what's this loads? Heart Bones by Colin Hoover. It's, it's not really. Let me see if I can. Heart Bones by Colin Coover. Um, I really liked it. I rated it a five star. It was actually probably one of my favorite Colin Coover books. Uh, speaking of Colin Hoover, I read It Ends With Us. This was my copy. I got the paperback version. So this is from Book of the Month. I rated this a five star and I really can't wait until the movie comes out. Um, the next book I ended up reading was um, Regretting Q by Colin Hoover. Um, I actually read it through Kindle Unlimited, but it's easier to just have a physical copy, especially when we're newbies. Um, so I, read, I rated it four stars. It's not one of, it's probably one of my lower down Colin Hoover books because I didn't care for it. Like the end is really the only good part of it. Yeah. I, I did like this book. I did read this, but it was way before him. Um, and then... Um, um, and then we both read Inheritance Games, the first one. We really liked it. We really liked it. We rated it five stars. It's definitely one of our favorite books of 2023. And... Uh, it got us into, like, the mystery type books, because we really like mystery now. Like, mystery and, like, crime, and then, like, we like the twists. Yes. Twists. There's a lot of twists in that book. Definitely one of the better ones. Okay, and then the next book I read was Carrie by Stephen King. Um, I really enjoyed this book. It was confusing at first, but it's, like, a really short book. And it's like one of Stephen King's first books. Um, I rated it a three and a. I rated it a three and a half stars. So I really liked it. And then I read Terms and Conditions. It's the second book of the Dreamland Billionaires, which is the after. 
Um, I rated this a five star. I will probably read the, give the third book, the final book, a five star as well because they're like so good. Um, we are in July already. Oh, we we kind of forgot. Um, one of the books I read in July was, um, Josh and Hazel's Guide to Not Dating by, um, Christina Lauren. I really liked it. I rated it a four star. That's actually, like, a pretty good, um, I think it's a friends to lovers trope. Really liked it. And then I read Fim Finley Donovan is Killing It. I can't wait until the other two books are out because I really like this book. I rated it a five star. Um, I finished this, I started reading it July 30th and I finished reading it August 6th. The next book I read was, um, As Good As Dead. It's the final book in the Good Girl's Guide to Murder series. Um, this was the best book in the series, in my opinion. She hasn't fit, read this book, but the twist halfway through this book, just crazy. Read it at a five star. And then I read Summer Burke and Rolls. I gave this a five star. I finished it in literally one day. Um, I remember I read it like a lot during the night and then I finished it like at like two o'clock at like PM. It was like that good. And I read it at five stars. I didn't say that already. Um, the next book I read is the second I submerged in pretty book. Uh, what's it called? Um, it's not summer without you. It's actually the better one out of the three books, in my opinion. Um, I rated it a uh, four star. It is that's the, the sadder book out of the three. And then I read The Selection. Me and Jacob both read The Selection, actually, at the same time. I believe we both rated it the same thing. I rated star. it a three star. It honestly wasn't the best. It's definitely more of a childish book. My sister, or our sister, read it, and she really likes it. She read, like, up to the third one. She needs to read the fourth one. And then I want to say there's a fifth one. I'm not really sure, but... It was okay. I mean, I think I'd enjoy if they made, like, a show or something of it more. Like, Hunger Games or whatnot. It kind of reminded me of that to a certain extent. It's like a bachelor in a Hunger Games world mm -hmm. is what it is explained. But yeah. Um, next book I read, which actually I read them in, like, different times, but I actually, I'm putting this here because I finished the series here. I read the... Mindfuck series by St. Abby, and I actually found out that she's dead, which is kind of sad. Um, this is probably one of my f the a the the a the artist, not oh. the, the the uh author. Author is dead, but um, I rated it five stars. This is probably one of the best series that I have read that is romance, and I liked how they were short novellas. And then me and Jacob both read um, uh, Evidence of <coughs> Affair. I need to show you it. It was really it short. It was really short. We read it at three stars by Taylor Jenkins Reid. We which actually, is my first book that I read of hers. Which we actually um, ended up doing a reading. Like we walked and read it because it was only like an hour. Um, okay. And then the next book I read is... The We we'll Always Have Summer by from the Summer Edge and Pretty series. Um, I read it at three stars. I didn't care for it. Ending was bad. No. And then I read Full Tilt. I want to say Sarah Caroli, um, a YouTuber, actually recommended it and she said it was okay. And then I started like, I was like, okay, it's not getting limited. I'm going to get to it. And then. I rated it a four star, and it was really good. It was sad, um, sad. Um, the I read the Silent Patient. I was like really wanting to read a thriller book, so that's why I read it. This book has a big twist at the end, but I really liked how it was like in parts too. Um, 
I rated it a four and a half star. Yeah, and I really liked it. I need to get more thriller books. And then I read um, a September 13th, I finished Love and Gelato. I started it August 15th, so it was good. I was just busy during that month and just like, you know, so I rated it a 3.5 four star because... Well, okay, take it back. It was like a 4.5, but it's not like good enough to be my 5 star, if that makes sense. It was really good. I liked it definitely more than a couple other books that I read this year. Um, the next book I read, I read it, I finished it in August. Um, I finished it actually on its birthday. Um, but I read Ready Player One by Ernest Cline. Um, uh, I actually... And then I watched the movie also, and I actually really liked the book more than the movie, which is really surprising. And it's a first of all, before I talk about this, why is this book not taped? Because we didn't tape it. Because there was no reason to. Because we only read a chapter. Um. And then I read the 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 extended chapter of Verity. I did read this book this year in March, but I'm just gonna say putting it in here because I did read the short chapter and I really liked it. I just don't know, like, what, like, it was weird. Even you read it. And it was just, like, interesting. It made you want more. Yeah, it made me want more because this book as it was was already cracked to me. And, yeah. Um, next book I read, um, finished on August 21st, but... I read The Summit Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. Um, this book, I liked the style that Taylor Jenkins Reid wrote it. Um, it's like, and it's like makes you seem like these these characters are real and like they have a story that they like told over many 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 decades. I read this a five star. I then read uh, Good Girl Bad Blood. I really liked this book. I haven't read the third one, so I don't know for sure if I like like this book more but I definitely like this book more than the first one yeah same with me I even when I was reading it with my boyfriend on, on the phone with me and he even enjoyed it I mean he liked hearing about it so that's another plus um to be fair I regret reading this book because I think it got me it got me in a big slump for the next past couple of months um I read pieces of her it was really slow. It literally took me a month to read. I literally finished it. I started reading it on August 21st, and I finished it on September 29th. So it took me a whole month. And this book was so slow. I ended up reading it at three stars. But now that I'm thinking about it, I think I'm going to change it probably to a two star. Okay. I then read All In by Emma Scott. This book I loved as well, but I liked Full Tilt better. I definitely want to read more of Emma Scott's series because it's also like just more easier for me to read because it's shorter stuff, but I rated this a four star and I only, I finished it in like three days. Um, the next book I read is... It's The Perfect Marriage. Like, it's being really... The Perfect Marriage by Geneva Rose. Um, this book was another one when I really... I was I was really into, like, wanting a thriller book, so I read it. I read it on Kindle Unlimited, and it was actually really good. Um, I read the audiobook that was included in it, and that was... Made it better. And then I watched... I watched... I read Maybe Someday by Colin Hoover. Um, this is actually... Oh, really good book. I definitely recommend it. Like, I know a lot of people hate on these books, and I don't know. I really liked it. It has, like, a little piece of me still there, and I think about it quite a bit, actually. Um, I read it at a 4.5, and also what makes it better is that it was published on my birthday, which is March 18th, 2014. I mean, obviously, I'm not born in 2014, but it was published then, and it just makes my me happier but I finished in about two weeks because I was kind of busy that month as well 
Um, the next book I read, which I read The Obsession, um, by Jesse Q. Sutano. This book was like a you book, and that's what I think I really liked it, is because it was like you. But instead of the guy being so obsessive, the girl is. But it was really good. I rated it four stars. I also read this book, but not like at the same time. It's in my other book if you want a other video, if you want to look at that. Um, I read, after maybe someday, I read the novella of Maybe Not. This book actually was really good, and it maybe like maybe someday more, honestly. Um, the next book I read was The First to Die at the End, which means now thinking about it, I should have read this book in December because I read it in October and it's like a New Year's Eve type book so that, that's cool um, but I rated it a five star this is better than the first one in my opinion and actually this one's a prequel to the first one they both die at the end um, this is actually the Barnes & Noble exclusive it has um, it has an exclusive chapter which I actually not a chapter a short story which I actually haven't read I need to read it um, but I rated this book a five star and then, since we're in, I finished this the 1st of November, but The Wicked Deep. I rated this a 4 point, a 4 star. It was actually pretty good. I liked it better with the audiobook because it made me like, be in class with the, uh, the whole story. Plus, I really liked the big plot that happened, or the big turn that happened to it as well. Um, the next book I read was Narrative of the Life of Frederick Douglass. I read it for school. Uh, it was boring. I didn't understand it at all. I read it for two stars. And then I read Love and Other Words. Um, I read this a four star. I don't honor really understand the hype around it. I mean, I loved it. Don't get me wrong. But, I don't know. I don't know if it was because of the audiobook or what. But it was, like, not my all-time favorite romance that I've read. And then we both read November 9. Uh, we wanted to try to read, like, finish, start reading in November and finish it on November 9th. We didn't do that. But we, we actually fin finished it December 4th. Yeah, we finished it December 4th. Uh, we actually finished this at our grandpa's house because our washer broke. Yeah. And it, then on it was okay. Was it my favorite? It's probably my least favorite Colin Hoover book, if I'm being totally honest, but I still rated it a four star. See, this book is above Regretting You to me. I like this book better than Regretting You. Yeah, no, not for me. <coughs> um, and then I read Tis a Season for Revenge. If I can There you go. Tizzy for Revenge. It's a weird little picture. Um, I read it a five star. It was really good. I mean, I think it was like more so 4.5 for me because of all the spice that I had. Because I don't particularly like spice in my books. It just takes so much time out of me reading and I'm like, Why? So, it's about, like, a 4.5 just because of the spice. But other than that, I really liked it. Do I go again? I told you. Um, and then I read Whispering Rock, which is the third book in the Virgin River series. It's probably the final book I'm going to read, at least for now. Because, I don't know, just, like, I like them. I love Virgin River, the show and everything um but I finished that December 9th and then I read Dash and Lily's Book of Dares I rated this a four star I watched the series a long time ago when it came out first which we didn't even watch it was fine um I finished this in literally one day because it's like so short it's fine Robin is that it's up down um, and then I read 
Violent Bit Backwards Over the Grass by Lana Del Rey. I got into Lana Del Rey's music in October, but uh, we were like listening to like book series, like like we were listening when we were reading our books. We were listening to like playlists that were created that say like reading this book, and she was in it a lot. So that's also why I got into her. Um, this is a poetry book by her, and actually these like these poetries, and there's also like pictures and stuff in it. It's cool. Um, I really like this book. And then I read Meet Me Under the Mistletoe. I rated this a four star. I finished it in about a week. I liked it for a Christmas book, if that makes any sense. And then I read Normal People by Sally Rooney. Um, I absolutely hated this book. I literally don't even remember anything about this book anymore. Um, it was a two star for me. Uh, I finished it in like three weeks. I read that too. It's in the other book. I've read it, other video. I read it before people meet on vacation, and I also read it, rated it two stars. Um, and then I read Anna the First Kiss, which honestly, again, I don't know what the freaking hype is of this book because it wasn't that great, in all honesty. Um, I rated it a 2.5, but on Goodreads, I rated it a three star. Um, I also was reading the audiobook of it or doing the audiobook of it and it honestly didn't make it better um the next book i read was dash and lily's book of dares um finished this i started it before christmas i finished it after christmas um i really liked it um also i watched the show a long time ago it was really good um and then we read hawthorne legacy this was really good, except Jacob freaking spoiled it for us. <laughs> so, it wasn't like, the plot wasn't, you know, I don't know if that makes any sense or if I look stupid, but we rated it a four star. It was good. Um, it was really good, and we finished it in like... A we finished it in three days. Three days, and one day is because we read our other books, you know, French Kiss, and he was reading Dash Lily. But yeah, four star. Um... And then finally, and then finally our, last, uh, our last book, we actually read this on New Year's Eve. We finished it on New Year's Eve. And I'm really glad we read it. I'm really freaking glad we, we read, read it. We read Daisy Jones and the Six. It was so good. We did the audiobook because it was just like... Because it's a, it's a documentary style. Um, it's a bunch of interviews. We started it by reading it together. Like, reading it out loud together and then we figured it would be kind of confusing because like we have the same voice of course and they're different characters yes um so we ended up getting the getting it on audible uh finished it in two days, two days. um really enjoyed it it's this book is loosely based off of fleetwood mac yes. which it's, made me want to get some i want to get some fleetwood mac music it's really really stinking good and, and the show comes out in I march i cannot wait until the show because i just want to like see the whole world like like jacob said with um evelyn hugo it reminds it makes you believe that there's they're actually like there and they actually been around since the 70s or which early 60s i didn't know this but let's just say a character or two from daisy J not daisy jones from evelyn hugo show up in this book and there's people from on this book that shows up on Mal of the Rising, which I want to read definitely not next of hers because Jacob has Evelyn Hugo, so I'm going to read his. But this book, and I'm glad we finished it literally after, like before the new year. Um, our goals for 2023, um, I want to read 75 books. I want to read 50. Which I think I can really do because I read 40. And then you read how many? 53? I read 53 books. Yeah. So we hope you guys enjoyed this video. We're sorry we haven't posted in a while. Um, Please like, comment, comment and, and subscribe. And, and let us know some of the books that you've read this year as well. See you next time. Bye! Bye.